Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Taurus? This is the Late Night Energy Reading. I love you guys. How are y'all doing? Yes, thank y'all so much for your beautiful, beautiful like, sharing. Thank you for your amazing compliments. Thank you for the love that you have shown me. I want to say I am so humbly appreciative and grateful for you all. Thank you. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates. This is the nighttime, late night, nighttime energy reading. I need you to take what resonates with you, reverse the rose, how they fit in your life, okay? I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the rose, all right? I need you to stay with me because there are lessons, blessings, and confirmations all in my readings, okay? So like I was saying before, Taurus, uh, this is nighttime and the earth is settled. So that means that we're still in retrograde. Also the full moon, also manifesting a lot of beautiful things in your life. So for a lot of you, you know, you may you may get triggered, you know, a ex coming back. I'm sorry, I'm just a messenger, okay? Just take what resonates. If you know you're not with that ex and, uh, and it's long gone, then it does not resonate with you. Just take parts of what is resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Because we're in retrograde and we're probably going to be in retrograde till about the middle of September, okay? So it's a lot of people that's going to come back from your past, Da, 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 okay? So right now, let's see what's in your energy. Let's focus on the now. Let's focus on the moon. Let's focus on what, what we can manifest, what's in our life now. So let's see what's going on. Ooh, two cards, two cards came out, okay? All right, just know you on the right path, okay? And nature came out here as well, Taurus. So you're on the right path, okay? Some of you, with this nature card, some of you need to get out into the earth, you know, Earth, maybe ground yourself, maybe walk barefooted, ground yourself. Uh, some of you may have earth sign, you know, you are earth sign. Um, you may have Capricorn strongly in your chart or in your placements, um, but you're on the right path. It may seem a little dark, a little bumpy, Taurus, but you are on the right path, okay? So let's see what else is in your energy dreams okay so some of you may be having vivid dreams maybe having some telepathic dreams some of you may be doing a lot of dreaming you know well at the bottom of the deck you got expect the unexpected taurus so whatever you're dreaming about um or whatever the dreams that you have been dreaming for some of you it can be have something to do with lover love okay just trust okay trust Trust the universe. Trust God. Trust whoever your highest source. Don't stop worrying. It's all in divine timing. Okay, that's what spirit guys wanted me to say. So with the right path and expect the unexpected. Okay, so on this path, I feel as though what spirit guys is saying on this nighttime energy reading is so that a lot of you don't understand, but expect the unexpected meaning you're expecting because something is is it because the path is still kind of dark. Uh, that or you feel like because you're going through a little bit of a little bit of uncomfortableness that you know you're wondering if you're where you're supposed to be. Well, spirit guides say something is coming in far greater than you have ever expected. Okay, you expecting something to come in one way, and I feel like something is getting ready to come in way be beyond your measures. Is what spirit guides is telling me. So you have the nature card and you have the lovers card out here. So I feel like you need to be grounded. Okay, if you're in a loving connection, maybe you and your partner need to go out and just ground yourself, walk, walk on, you know, on in the earth, okay, to balance out this loving, this love connection, okay, um, and also you have dreams and you have trust. So these dreams that you've been having, some of you, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you've been having some dreams, you've been having some vivid dreams, some lucid dreams, or you also have been having some telepathic dreams. Trust, your dreams are telling you something, okay? I don't know who you are, but your dreams are definitely telling you something. And Spirit Guides is saying, when you have these dreams, uh, write them down on paper as soon as, you, as soon as you come back to your consciousness. Write it down because those dreams are going to soon tell you something. It's going to be a story to tell um, um, about your life, okay? So let's see what else is in your energy, Taurus. Spirit Guides, talk to me. This is for Taurus energy. Let's see what else is in there. Ground 
grounded. Yes, exactly. Remember, I was saying grounded is very, very essential. This is the grounding, believe it or not. Grounding, I feel like, Taurus, you may be a type of person that overthinks a lot. A lot of the, I think a lot of the earth signs do a lot of overthinking. Grounding help, help align you back help align your consciousness back into alignment. So definitely grounded is definitely essential in here. I am grounded and clear-minded with all relationships. So the grounding does a lot of clearing your conscious, help you to stop overthinking when you ground yourself, okay? Passion is here. So some of you uh, with this connection that you're in, that you're in, or some of you are about to begin, I feel like you're overwhelmed. I feel like you're just overthinking this new love life or this new person that's in your life, okay? I feel like you're just like kind of all over the place. That's what Spirit Guides is saying. Or even with this person that you've been dating for probably the last six months or seven months, however it go, close to a year, is that it just seemed like it's been kind of shaky. I feel like what Spirit Guides God is telling me that you both need to ground yourselves, okay? You both need to ground to bring this, this connection uh, back uh, in alignment, okay? Uh, because it's a lot of overthinking here okay somewhere somewhere you're overthinking in this relationship or your partner's overthinking or you both are overthinking because I also see there's a lot of passion in this connection that you're in now I'm talking to the ones that are in a connection okay um, and the best way to do is is to ground yourself okay let's get another card spirit guys spirit guys one more card for Taurus change okay Taurus oh change and clarity okay that card I didn't see that card behind there so you got change and you have clarity it's definitely going to give you a lot of clarity because this card grounded is talking about clarity it says I, I, I am surround I am grounded connected and clear-minded with all relationships right here is clarity Okay, this will definitely this grounding and meditation and these elusive dreams that you've been having, maybe about your partner, or maybe about someone that's coming into your life, or someone you have recently met. You're, you're going into overdrive. Your mind is just really running like a like a wheel, okay, like a Ferris wheel. You're just going, 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 overthinking. And so when you ground it, it's going to give you a lot of clarity about this relationship, about these dreams that you're having. You're going to get a lot of clarity. And it says, as I begin walking my path of self-discovery, I find clarity with each step taken and new truths are developed. So maybe you're getting a lot of clarity about this person that you're connected with. Okay. Um, and you got change here. All right. So something is changing here and so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get back to where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you it says change take place each day in my life in infinity ways and I embrace welcome and look forward to these new opportunities so there is definitely a change that is developing uh, whether this is someone new uh, that in, has entered your life or someone that you have already uh, have been you know talking with but it's a lot of passion in this cat connection. But I feel like you're getting on some downloads. Maybe you're having dreams, something you're having dreams, and you're getting, uh, you're getting some clarity about this person. Or if it's something that has been bothering you, Taurus, and that your head, your mind is all, it's just going in overdrive. It's that in order for you to get your answer, in order for things to come clear to you, uh, you're gonna have to ground yourself in order for you to understand your dreams, what it's telling you about this person person that you're connected with, if you're not connected yet, you will soon be connected with. These dreams are trying to tell you something. Okay, and this getting ready to be a major change in some of y'all's love life. If you're not with someone, you're about to, someone is about to come into your life. I have, I, I feel like you're not going to expect this. Um, I also feel like Spirit Guys um, is saying to stop overthinking. So there's about to be a major change in somebody's life, okay? Mm. Let me pull this, this deck here. Spirit guys, tell me more for Taurus energy. Oh, okay. So you got the moon card here. 
All right. So the moon is saying, uh, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So pay attention to what your inner self, that solar plex, that your guidance <laughs> confirmation. What's your intuition? What's your inner voice is telling you? Okay, it's all about dreams. I feel like you feel like, I feel like this person is coming soon in your life. I feel like you expecting someone to come into your life, but you don't, you're not expecting how fast they're going to come. I feel like you have been maybe, uh, you have, you have been having dreams about this man or this woman, and you don't realize that you expecting for him or her to come in one way, but God is about to blow your mind, uh, in a different way, unexpected way. Just trust what your dreams are telling you. Now, now for some of you, you've been, you've been trying to trust, you know, you, maybe you having dreams about your partner being with somebody. That is for a very small percentage of you. So let's see. Oh, okay. The keys. Okay. So this is a new beginning. Okay. This is a new beginning. Someone is about to come into your life and change your life, Taurus. If this person isn't already in your life, there's about to be some changes. Uh, you're about to gain some clarity. I feel like, Taurus, this is either your becoming clear about this is you're trusting your dreams is telling you that this person that you're with is the one this person that you're fully connected to is the one okay there's a lot of passion um i also feel as though that there's about to be a change if you and your relationship or you and your partner has had a bumpy road and you're wondering if this person if you're on the right path if this is the person that you should be with expect some unexpected changes to happen in this relationship spirit guys god is telling me that things are about to shift okay if it has been bumpy it's been kind of rocky and you've been wondering or some of you've been wanting to walk out on your partner wanting to leave the relationship you're getting frustrated you're overthinking you're all over the place and spirit guys is saying it's about to be a shift in your life but this is going to be a good change i feel like god is shifting your your relationship okay <clears throat> it's going to feel new it's going to feel like a new beginning it's going to be refreshed okay it's going to it's like spirit guys is god is like sprinkling 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 some good some good atmosphere sprinkling some good uh, uh, what you want to call it, that, that, that universe energy on y'all's relationship because you have the keys here. This is the key to abundance. That's why I feel like that your relationship is about to go into a different shift. It's like your, your relationship, it is shifting. It's shifting into new beginnings, okay? Uh, you're with the same person, but it's getting ready to be refreshed. You know what I'm saying? So it says new beginnings, directions, and adventures um, a wait for those ready to let go of the past. So this can also mean that some of you, uh, that you're with this, you, you know, with your new person that you probably been dating between one to two years. Okay. You're still overthinking because you're thinking about the past of, of someone else that, that you dealt with. And you're thinking that this person, uh, you know, you're thinking that this person may be, you know, uh, on that same energy, but spirit guys is saying, you're just overthinking. You really overthink it for some of you really, really, all in your head and you really need to go ground yourself you need to walk barefooted you're on the right path you might be bumpy y'all may be even having some arguments you may not be kind of getting along right now that's because I feel like that you're having uh flashbacks on your past okay and you have to let go of that and trust trust your intuition trust the dreams that you're having I feel like you're gaining clarity that this person is the one for you but you have to trust and believe this is a major shift a change that is about to take place in your life and I feel like this is this is good that your relationship is getting ready to get better it's, it's getting ready to take a turn take a turn for the better I need another car spirit guys judgment call okay i feel like a lot of soul searching and judgment um i feel like judgment of god is is calling judgment on this on this relationship that you both have to do some soul searching or you're gonna have to do some soul searching and 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 uh just um heal from whatever happened to you in the past and let that go okay so judgment call which is all about soul searching it's about you see the pages in this book it's about you know it says soul searching will bring inner peace uh to many areas 
purpose of your life. It's like going back and soul searching and, um, you know, fixing that and so that it will not interfere in, 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 in your relationship that you're in now. OK, so um, judgment. This is good karma here, but it's also soul searching that uh, you're going to have, you know, towards that you may have to go back and you may have to really do some soul searching so that this won't affect your life, affect your happiness, affect the keys to your abundance. So I'm talking to someone that you may be in a relationship now and you've been been kind of rocky with you and your person and that you just questioning if this the one for you and that spirit guides are saying trust. I feel like you've been having dreams that this person is. OK, you've been having telepathic dreams or you also have been just really doing a lot of overthinking, overthinking and change take place when you're ready to evolve and ready to move. So in order for this change to take place, in order for you to get to where you need to get to in life, which is your abundance, your happiness, your peace, your joy, you must first let go of what hurt you. You, from, you, you must first let go of the past, of trauma. You must first do soul searching and do some healing from that because if you don't, it's going to what? It's going to roll over. It's going to contaminate your new love life. It's going to contaminate your relationship that you're in because you're overthinking and you're thinking that this person that you're involved with is going to do the same thing that the past person done. So Spirit Guys is asking you to do some soul searching, okay? Asking you to go within yourself and really, um, you know, and I feel like the clarity is that, you know, uh, you realize, for some of you realize that this person is nothing like whoever you have dealt with in the past. Okay. So Spirit Guides is saying, listen to your intuition, Taurus. The moon card is all about secrets. The moon card is also an illusion of fear, uh, the, the, the fear, the fear of the unknown. So some of you are in the fear of the unknown. What if it doesn't? What if it don't work out? What if this person is like this person? What if, what if? But Spirit Guides says, the fear is an illusion. That is your ego side. That's your ego side. It's trying to stop you from becoming, you know, stopping you from having your happiness, stopping you from, from getting your keys. Okay. So only way that change take place in your life when it comes down to connection, when it comes down to someone that can potentially be for you is that you have to move. You have to evolve. Change take place when you move. You understand? So in order for this to move, you have to have a place of clarity. You have to trust. You have to trust your intuition and you have to, you know, um, if it's something you need to fix, if it's some insecurity that you need to fix uh, with the, the with your past that you have problems with trusting um, and it's, 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 it's contaminating your relationship, then you have to do some more soul search, some more soul searching. OK, the bottom of the deck is proposal. So if you're thinking about proposing, you got you got the sun card here. Taurus, you got proposal. You got sun card here. So if you're thinking about proposing to this woman if this or this man, this woman that brings so much happiness, so much joy. So do not allow what you have been through in the past to contaminate what it could, what could be potentially your wife or your husband. So if this is talking about a proposal, if you've been having clarity, if you've been having dreams that you feel like this love, this person is the one, then, you know, you have to, you have to let go of the past. Yeah, I know. It's deep. Spirit guys, talk to me. Mm -hmm. Pivot. OK, pivot. It's time to move different. It's time to do things different. It's time. It's time to move. OK, you used to go in this way or you used to think in this way. It's time. How about thinking? How about thinking instead of thinking negative thoughts? How about thinking positive thoughts? How about going a different direction with your mindset, with your consciousness? How about trying that and see how that work out for you? When you take that negativity and you pivot it and you move it into a positive energy, how, tr how about trying that and see where that gets you? Because that's what pivot is all about. It's, it's moving in a different direction, coming out of negativity, coming out of the fear of the unknown and going towards positivity and going towards what's clear clarity and trusting the clarity, trusting the road, the path that you're on, trusting the person that you're with and, 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 and uh, believing that this can potentially be the one for you. I'm just saying. Spirit guys, tell me more. 
have faith. And it fell right on the keys. I can't make this up. Have faith and believe. Okay? Have faith and believe. All right? So it is, it's very vital. If you really want a happiness in your life, you have to let go of the past. Okay, if you want these keys, you have to let go of the past. If you're trying to build with someone, you have to let go of the past. You have to stop overthinking. You have to, you have to, you have to. If you want to see change, if you want to see, if, yeah, if you want to see change in your relationship. I'm just saying. Tell me more. Mm. What did that card go? That card is flying all over the place, you yeah. I don't know where that card went. <sighs> it wants to that go right down there. But you got to, this card came out presence. Okay, living in the present moment. Okay, how you feel right now. Okay, it says you're being asked to spend more time in the present moment. To stop ruminating. When I, when I say, I say reminiscing. Okay, about the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now. And when you are not present for it, you will miss all its beauty. Do you understand what Spirit Guides is trying to tell you now? In the present, when you're dwelling in the past, you're going to miss all the beauty of the present. Okay? So some of you are stepping back. Okay? Step back. Okay? You're being asked to step back. If you're really into the, you're really overthinking, I feel like it's saying you're being asked to step back from your life in order to uh, gain perception, perspective. When you're too close to a situation, it can be hard to make a decision. It says, span out. Stand out and view your life from a distance so you can get the perspective needed. So step back and look at your life. Step back. What, you know, how you feeling? Step back on your life. When you, you know, if you want to make a decision, step back. You feel like this person is the one for you? Go for it. Step back and analyze your life. Sometimes we have to step back. But do not be unfair when it comes to what has happened to you in the past. I'm just saying, lovers, this person could possibly be your twin flame. And you manifested this. You manifested this person in your life. Spirit guys, tell me more for Taurus. You have manifested this person in your life, Taurus. Tell me more. There it is, 11-11. 11, 11, new beginnings. 11, 11, the Hierophant card, tradition, tradition, marriage card. But you're having some regrets. You're having some regrets about a situation, about the past. You're having regrets that. You know, you allow someone to breadcrumb you. Maybe your last relationship caused you a lot of pain. Breadcrumb you treated you less than. Okay, you're having some regrets in your life that you need to, you know, do some soul searching. Because you have truth in this relationship. The Knight of Cups is true cup. True cup. Future. other message thank you patience temperance so I feel like for some of you maybe Taurus someone's trying to return your ex is trying to return back in your life that breadcrumbed you okay they treated you less than this person regretting how they done you so is that what it is you're trying to make a choice between the person that you're with now and the person that uh, is trying to return but I feel like you're very defensive Hmm, card fell way over there. I feel like you're defensive from this person. You're protecting your heart and your territory from this person. But just be careful because this person's still in their immature ways. This is someone that's coming back to you. They're still not in control of their life. Okay, you could have been dealing with an Aries. Yeah, this person in isolation. Have faith in this new connection. Yeah, this person's lonely. 
Yeah, you focus on your work. You're focusing on other things in your life. Yeah, this person still looks at your picture. This could be, you know, this person still, they in the head. But this person with the with the Ace of Pentacles, look at here. The Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of, Page of Swords. This person still watching you, and they're very deceiving. They still up to the lies, and they have nothing to offer you. This person has nothing to offer you. So you're going to have to do some soul searching. You have healed from this person. You're done with this person. Now, you what, what are you questioning with this new love? Are you overthinking because you're thinking that this person, this person did not sow into you? Okay. Are you thinking that this new person that you're with, that they're not going to sow into you? That you're thinking that they're going to treat you like they treat you? Spirit guys say that is something that you need to heal within yourself because everyone, you have to give someone else a chance. Okay. You got to give someone else a chance. You know, if you really see a lot in this relationship, you have to give it a chance. I'm just saying you got Russian energy coming back to you. Look at that. You got Russian energy. This person, this ex-person is going to pop back up in your life very soon. Very, very soon. Very soon this person's, this ex-person is going to communicate with you. But it's, it's going to lead to an argument. It's going to lead to an argument. But this person don't care. See, you know, they're thinking logical, but you're going towards your happiness. And you got to believe that. What makes you happy? You ain't got time. Yeah, you don't have time for the BS. You're going towards your happiness. I feel like this this ex person is just gonna make you make your decision about your person you with now. Yeah, they're gonna make it very clear that that person that you with now is the one for you, because this person is still acting the same way he or she was acting when y'all was together. And this person that you're talking to with now, or this person you've been involved with now, they have so much more to offer you, and you're gonna have an aha moment. You're gonna realize that the person you with is the person for you. That's right. You know, sometimes we have to step back and we have to have faith and live in the present moment. Sometimes we also have to step back and realize, okay, is this old person for us or is the new person? And it looked like the way that this is uh, been, um, is telling me is that you're overthinking and that now I feel like you've gained clarity that this old person is making you really, really, really for sure know that this new person or this person you've been involved with is the one for you. But spirit guides are saying, just have faith and believe in your own intuition because change going to take place. It, it, you know, you're going to, you know, whether you want to, I feel like you're thinking about proposing to this person. You're thinking about living your life with this person. You don't care what nobody says. I am positive. Those energies, Taurus. Until next time.